Media, when we mix it up with Rich Valdez and Walker Bragman, they join me again right now. Hello, guys. How are you? So, okay. um, guys, uh, I tend to think, uh, you know, that when you walk a reference before that over 2,000 former DOJ folks, um, if somebody on the other side wanted to get 2,000 former DOJ folks to come out and sign a petition behind William Barr, social media makes kind of this stuff happen and most of the people in the DOJ are career people, so half of them are probably for Trump, half of them are probably against Trump. I don't think that tells the whole tale, but I tend to feel like as an Italian guy from Staten Island who's seen a lot of Italians stereotyped and unfairly prosecuted, um, I tend to think that the government does a lot of things like this like tricking people into thinking they're not the target or a subject or not turning over certain information, which I've seen over the years and years and years. And, you know, just rooting for the underdog, I tend to like it when the DOJ comes out and says, okay, our investigative arm screwed up. I don't know. I agree. John, these are issues that should play out in court that are better aired out in public before the public eye uh, in, in a forthright manner. I mean, this is any, and in a regular circumstance, I think citizen, it would play out. Right? Yeah. We have um, the right to see that play out, to see it aired out. Uh, this decision was opaque. It was uh, irregular and, it's it it doesn't it doesn't feel like justice to me. It just okay, doesn't well, feel I mean, like justice. You, 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 you're not on the side of justice in this one. You know, you're you. I don't think you're looking at it objectively. And you know, I watch. Well, I I'm I watching. literally cannot tell you how little this news story matters to my per like. Okay. To All me right, politically, well, like right, it, so that's good so, news. <laughs> objectively speaking i think that the i think that there there are some causes that some things that i have read about about this decision that raise red flags for me about the way that the fbi handled the case um but at the same time there are a lot of red flags in just this in, in the dismissal and i think that it is better aired out any issues that may exist in how the prosecution handled the case are better aired out in court before the public eye Okay, so I, I, I mean, wanna I wanna just pause yeah. it. I wanna just pause it th this to you, not as a loaded question, just as a friend to friend, right? I'm watching all kinds of TV and I love watching these um law project shows where they show you how they got guys out of jail and I've seen so many, you know, real documentaries about people time and time again who pled guilty knowing they didn't do something. Um, and sometimes it, ha sometimes it gets cleaned up right away. Sometimes it gets cleaned up 20 years later when some you know, advocacy group comes out. I feel like um, this is a cause that many on the left who are against it should be looking at it and saying, okay, fine, one for the good guys that someone didn't get unfairly prosecuted. Why should this carry out when the Justice Department looks at it and says, no case? We trapped him. We tricked him. It was a. We didn't tell him he was a subject or a target. Why should it, Why should we keep spending money to go to a trial when the guy pled to something he clearly didn't do? This is not do? John. This is not the case of somebody who held up a you know a liquor store, or is accused of holding up a liquor store and getting prosecuted in in the South Bronx. This is not. This is not uh, somebody who doesn't have the means to defend themselves. Doesn't have the means to litigate. This is. This is somebody who is very, who is powerful, was wealthy. I mean, there's that analysis lacks any basis in in class. You have to understand that there is a class difference between the people. Well, who you, you were realize talking about. he was. You realize he was rich. I mean, you could weigh in on this, but Mike Flynn, yeah, well, I don't Mike Flynn was bankrupted. I believe in Americans, and I think in this situation, what we saw was an American. In this case, an American patriot, an American general, a hero was railroaded through subversion through the FBI, through an FBI director who has admitted to doing this and exculpatory evidence that's been revealed in court documents that were uh, sealed and have been unsealed and unclassified. I think this is open and shut. The Department of Justice got one right this time. Score for the good guys. 
I, you I, don't you don't recognize that there is a class difference between General Flynn and somebody in. I reject you know. that there are classes to begin with. Right. Okay, but but your rejection of it does not. I'm I'm, I'm confused. You don't think that class that there that there is a ruling class in this country that gets preferential treatment. No, I reject that we should consider that. We shouldn't consider that something no. that exists Why, very to plainly. Me, broker your poor justice is blind. Justice is not blind. We know that justice is not the blind. The lady justice I know in the United States, she wears a blindfold. That doesn't track with the number of people who are in jail for low level offenses and the and people who commit white collar crimes getting preferential look we're getting off topic yeah Flynn is somebody who is powerful he's somebody who had the means to defend himself and he is still somebody who pleaded guilty twice despite those things so i think that this should have played this should play out in court i think the court should just should reject uh the prosecution's um motion and i think this should go forward right, well, and and we'll see <clears throat> we'll see whether or not um he he is uh in, as you say, an innocent man, a patriot, a, you know, look, I, Rich. I think that it's, it's, it's necessarily fraught because it's tied to the Russiagate investigation, which um, was somewhat uh, of a letdown for Democrats. Hey, I think rich, um, Not, rich t last 20, yes, sec sir. 20 seconds. I'll give you the last word on this one. We got to run. Yeah. Well, again, I mean, just to reiterate, I think uh, overall we've seen, a series of injustices, right? We've seen the weaponization of the federal government, principally the national security establishment and the FBI. Who did it? President Obama. How did he do it? Through his henchmen. And they went after everybody they could in Trump world, one by one, picking them off, putting them in jail, putting them in financial ruin. This All is right. one where we, we found out it wasn't the case. All so right. I think we're on the right track. We got to run. Rich Valdez, Walker Bragman, thank you both. Great, great job today. Thank you for Thanks, being John. there. Don't go anywhere. John Banzeff uh, joins us right after this.